Welcome to Linux Desktop December. So in this video, I'll be taking a look at LXDE. It's kind of the end of the road, really, for LXDE, but it still seems to be going. It's due to be replaced by LXQt, and LXQt seems to be in development for, well, ever, it seems like. So LXDE is based on GTK2, and it's available for many different Linux distros. I'm reviewing Lubuntu here, but in the past I have looked at Debian LXDE. So LXDE stands for the Lightweight X11 Desktop Environment, and it is a yeah, lightweight desktop environment, as it implies. <laughs> Let's just see how light it is. So, 3-M, and we are using 266 meg of RAM at startup. And that is out of 4 gig. So upon looking in the application launcher, you'll see the difference compared to the other Linux desktops I've looked at so far. There is no text searcher. It is a very simplistic distro. So if you want to find an application, you've got to look through all these menus yourself and find out where it is. So it comes with a few shortcuts for common applications there. Then we have a desktop switcher. So it's not exactly sparse on features. We do have useful things like that, a desktop switcher. And then on the right-hand side, we have the networking and volume control menus, time date calendar, and shutdown button. All a very simplistic view. Nothing too fancy on the rendering. So if we open up the file manager, which is PCMan.fm, let's go across to the videos folder and play a music video. CC Peniston, finally. So let's just pause that. Now we don't have any multimedia integration on the applications, but what we do have is in the bottom right hand side here, we have a menu multimedia controller here. So I can continue to play and stop that. So opening up a document and let's test out the text editor leaf pad. It's basic. There's no highlighting on application coding. So PHP file, nothing. Uh, bash script, no, nothing. That's going to make programming in this a little bit harder. I believe that PCMan.fm does have individual view preferences for each folder, but I can't seem to get that feature working here in Lubuntu. I wonder if it's the newer version of PCMan.fm written in Qt that has that feature. I'll be testing out the LXQt desktop later in the month. In terms of the desktop customization, so it appears in a couple of different folders this, so this is the appearance of the desktop itself, where we're showing icons on the desktop. Let's untick that. Yep, got a clean desktop now. The menu I was actually after was more the theming. So which one's that under? I don't know. I have to look through the whole menu, don't I? Because there is no type to search. Customize look and feel. I think it's that one. Yes. So there's a few different themes built in. But yeah, got a bit of control over the look and feel. So let's just put that back to Lubuntu default. So customize the color theme, yep. the icon theme, that's the mouse controls, the window border. Ah. What have we got here? Anything more? Nightmare. Whoa. Yeah, so let's have a nightmare. Yeah, different. So yeah, there's quite a lot of themes you can choose from here. So there are customization options for this basic lightweight desktop. So open up the browser, which is Firefox. Not very quick to open Firefox, but uh, it's quick to open most other applications. So I push to resizing at the corner of the screen. Uh, no, we don't have the option of resizing into halves or quadrants or anything. No, there is no resize options at all. Let's just go across to download something off the internet. So save image as. Yeah, that's a nice enough view. So I've got the file name there at the top. Yeah, save that. Now I've got a picture to look at. Uh, can I do anything with this? Oh yes, there's a few bits of editing I can do, so I can rotate the image, flip it around, and you can change how it's sized, so original size or oh, full screen. Yeah, I was expecting it to stretch though. So let's see how memory usage is now. So task manager, 348 meg of RAM used. It remains pretty low. So that was a look at the LXDE desktop. Thanks for watching, see you all later.